Season Salt here as we're going to be bringing you into Game 2. World Alliance versus KNB. The bands for Game 2. Kuzdor, Frost, Zell, Q, Yulan, and Lebmon. As soon as we load in, we're going to be bringing you live with the starting lineups of this game. So, for those of you guys who weren't here for Game 1, World Alliance. Couldn't get anything done right. They were in the lead early on, and they could not hold it. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a look at their starting lineups here. Galaxy Danny playing Elf. Valox being played by Cart. Helino playing Jambra. A Kartu being played by Winged. And NS6797 playing Gorvis. So, for KNB, we're looking at Inwenza playing Scale. Gorvis being played by San315S. The Harvester yes, being played I by Exorcist. Jambra being played by Deadbringers. Right. And... Jammy J18 Lucky playing CS. So it's gonna be our first time seeing the Harvester here in the Hawkopedia tournament. We'll uh, we'll see. A lot of people are picking Gwervis because obviously Kuzdor is off the table. Um, I can guarantee you right now, man. Uh, Sand and Gwervis in that last game were absolutely legendary. And right away, team fights are breaking out. You could already see Galaxy Danny in a lot of trouble. Can he get out of time? Jumbra! No, it's going to be Sia that takes the kill already. World Alliance starting off on a bad note here. Kartu is going to miss the hook, but it does look like Sia is going to be the one to get taken out here. Jamie J probably not going to be able to go down. Uh, probably is going to go down as the fireball is going to be enough. Wervis is going to pick up that kill. So a one for one trade here early on. And you'll see there the train does get taken out. World Alliance, two-time second place, winners of the HOC Promo Series 3 and 4. Going up against KNB, a what seems to be very formidable opponent. Take a look and see where the next fights are going to be. Slowly but surely, we're getting through all the champions and we're seeing what's going on here. Alright. Oh boy, wing in a little bit of trouble. Ends up getting hit. Danny with the elf manages to do enough damage that makes uh, KNB wish to retreat there. So nice trade so far. Everybody's just kind of going tit for tat early on. Two thirty-six on the clock. One to one is the score. Three hundred gold lead now for uh, KNB. And it looks like Cart, in a little bit of trouble, ends up having to aggro Basque. And uh, almost gets taken out by Basque, but nevertheless, nevertheless he's going to be able to get out of there. So KNB playing much stronger than before. We might be looking at a new team here, a new hot team in the Hawkopedia Championship. So new, new champions, new heroes are uh, being born here. As we speak, 324 on the clock. Still 1 to 1. As you say. As you say. Oh boy, there we go. See it in quite a bit of trouble. It looks like uh, World Alliance is going to be able to safely escort the train into the tower. So 
Again, World Alliance proving to be a little better, or at least for now, in terms of lane pressure. Scan the match. We're going to be looking at Wing to see can he get those hooks. You're going to see him pulling people more than pulling himself to them. And here we go. Fight pops off. Five members of World Alliance there. Looks like they're going to be able to take down Jumbo. He is not going to be able to get it. Frostbolt will stun. Danny picks up a kill there. 2 1 right now. World Alliance. Take the lead. Just passing the five minute here. As you are wanting. Sure. Game one was so intense. You gotta believe World Alliance doesn't have any connection issues. They're gonna be just fine, so. Might be a little early for this objective here, as you can see. Uh Halino has eyes. And this is a little weird. Sia in a lot of trouble. She's going to waste a blink, but she accidentally walks right back in. And now KNB going in. There goes the ultimate. And the bait is successful. And it looks like, yes, KNB scale is going to take a kill there. Gwervis is going to be the one to go down. So, oh, never mind. It's 4-2. to two. Just like that. Everybody's swinging for the fences. 4-3. to three. Who's going to be the one to come out here on top? Sia manages to pick up a kill there. Jomber going down. But it looks like World Alliance have just a little bit more on the table here. There goes Valox with the Whirlwind. And, it, oh, nice job there. Moving. And World Alliance pull away. Three kills ahead. 2,000 gold lead here. Six minutes in. And if I were... Oh, man. Nice job there by Sia to get out just in time. A car two going to head back over to base. KMB actually showing that they could trade early on. So they're you could see in their team fighting that they are much more confident this time around. They're not letting World Alliance walk away with that. You know, they were down zero kills going into like 10 minutes of the game. So there goes a Kartu with the hook. It looks like it's going to pay dividends. Scale with the knockup scale. Uh, Sia also trying to do something there, but it's not going to be enough. Danny picking up a kill there. Jomber gets taken down. And now you can see World Alliance starting to turn up the heat. Wing gets a kill. Sia gets taken out of that fight. And a double kill for Wing as a car two. Looking pretty solid right now. 3 0 and 5. 4 1 and 1 for Danny. Seven forty-one on the clock. Right. Where do we go from here? <clears throat> Even though KNB do have three kills to their name, World Alliance is looking significantly more meaty this time around. At least for now, it looks like World Alliance have resolved their connection issues. I apologize for that momentary glitch. Bear with me one second. Alright, there we go. I apologize for that momentary glitch. Nevertheless, the team fight will start. Gwervis is going to take down Jombras 10 to 3 right now. Scale a little late with the knockup of Kartu coming in, trying to see if she could do something. And who are they going to be targeting now as it looks like Scale? 
going to be the one to get stunned there. Kartu comes in, uses the ultimate to pull her away. Danny ends up taking that kill. Little kill stealing son of a gun. Nice job by Kartu to land a hook there on Sia. Now they're going in. And a huge team fight underneath the tower. Could spell disaster here for World Alliance as it looks like Gorvis is going to take down Sia. Nice frost bolt. There goes the blink. The Harvester taking down Gorvis 12 to 5. Now KMB trying to do everything they can. Nice job with the frost bolt. That's going to stop Valox from moving. And it looks like. Nice job there. Harvester does manage to take down Valox. So 12 to 6 down. 12 to 6. Alright, so... I apologize for the momentary technical difficulty there. PC had a hiccup. I am still recording though. 14 to 6 here, 10 46 on the clock. All right. For those of you guys, unfortunately, that can't watch on stream, the video will be on YouTube. On the clock, 14 to 6 there. Nice ultimate by Jumbra. Nice job there, Gorvis taking out John I apologize. This match will be a little quiet here as we're sorting out the technical issues here. Wing getting another kill. We'll take a look at the scores real quick. 5, 2, and 8, 4, Kartu, 4, 3, 5, 4, Gorvis. 1, 2, 9, 4, Valox, 5, 1, 5, 4, Danny. World Alliance looking pretty darn strong right now. Of 
13.55 on the clock. 16.9. I apologize momentarily. It got really quiet, but I was addressing the uh, technical issue there as the stream did cut out. So for any of the action that you missed, you will be able to see it live there. It looks like Scale is going to be the target of some aggression there. Wing's going to take that out. Ultimate by Jombra. And it looks like a stun combo is going to land. Is Can KMB manage to steal a kill off of here? But right now, it looks like... Uh, oh, nice job there. The Harvester is going to take down uh, a Kartu. 17 to 10. Little Gwervis on Gwervis crime here. 17 11 is the score. Danny does manage to pick up a kill there. It looks like Valox gets taken down by Gwervis. Nice ultimate. There you go. That's what you wanted to see from KNB. Still managing to take a couple of kills. Here's the next team fight. Are we going to go down? Gwervis getting taken down pretty darn low. There goes the ultimate. Looks like he gets taken out. World Alliance managed to squeak out a kill there. Can they take more here? Scale now. Crowd control. Wing is going to pick up that kill. Scale goes down. Now, Elf hopping in on Jambra. A stun by Elf and a yank. A hook by a Kartu. Leaves the score 21-13. World Alliance has had a steady control over this game pretty much for the entire match. I love the way how a Kartu can just snatch mobs up from behind the wall or she could pull herself across the wall. As you say. Uh, we got some people that aren't moving right now. Not sure exactly what happened. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. 17, 17 on the clock. Sure. Is the game over? Yeah, everybody was pretty much disconnecting, so I, I guess I wasn't the only one that had a heart attack there. As you say. Cause right now I don't see a lot of people. I only see a couple of people moving. Did everybody, de is that a case of uh, everybody disconnecting from the match? Do we have to remake that? I don't know. Because I don't see, Danny's moving. Cart is not moving. Alino's not moving. Winged is moving and Ennis is moving. And then for this other side here, you can see uh, Scale's not moving. Sand isn't moving. Deadbringers is not moving. And Jammy G18 is not moving. And now I just had a resynchronization myself, so. Moving. Nope. 
There looks like there's a bunch of DCs on both sides here. But it's a. Uh, there's only one person playing right now. You know, that sucks. See, this is what I don't like about these tournaments here. Basically, Exorcist is by himself. Wow. That sucks. That really does suck. Tower destroyed. Yeah, it's pretty much GG. It's over. That sucks, man. Of course. I don't know what to say on that one. I don't think it's very fair. That's what you're gonna see, boys. We're going to game three. That sucks. World Alliance is gonna win because of DCs. So, unfortunately, this game is gonna count. So, Danny says, oh, we played 4v5 first game and we lost, so 